X Man told a story on a uh, Tim Thomas and School Beats podcast about Larry Bird talking shit to you, saying. <laughs> Man, uh, I'm gonna keep this real with y'all, man. My ass got busted real early, man. I came into the league, man. I was in the <laughs> team. Um, you know, you know how some of them vets, man, they play you to the team, man. I got played down in Boston one night. We was playing uh, Boston Celtics. So the great Larry Bird, I didn't really know much about it. You know, I'm from Indiana, Larry's from Indiana. I knew about the history of Larry, but I didn't realize how he really got down. Larry Bird gave me, what did he give me, 45 and three quarters. The first game? First, first time I played against him. What year was this for you? This was my first year. Oh, okay. And welcome once again, everyone, to a sold-out Boston Garden, where tonight the Celtics look to snap a two-game losing streak. And they'll be facing a hot basketball team, the Seattle Supersonics, making their only appearance here in Boston. Hi again, everybody. I'm Mike Gorman, along with Tom Heinz, and welcome to our coverage. And Larry, me and Larry are from the same place in Indiana. Bit. And um, I um, I had a great privilege of uh, of not knowing Larry, but I played against his brother, his brother Eddie, coming up through the ranks a little bit. Meet Eddie Bird, who's walking down the same street his big brother Larry did at Indiana State. Well, almost. As it turns out, Eddie may not have to find out the hard way at all. Like Larry, he may just go with his strength. You know, right now, I would, I would say, you know, I wouldn't be a pro basketball player. Um, I think next year I might try out for the baseball team here at Indiana State, and um, hopefully I can, you know, I, I'd rather go in that career than I would basketball. So um, I, was the, I was the young guy that kind of came up through the history in Indiana and kind of broke a lot of Larry Bird's records. <laughs> So Larry kind of had already known about me a little bit. First of all, we got to Boston that night. I knew someone, right? I saw an X-Man. He was limping around the court a little bit like he was sore. I figured he'd be all right, you know. Xavier McDaniel. Like, Xavier McDaniel. The X-Man came up with a sore knee that game. Injury. <laughs> <laughs> he had some knee pain. I was like, it's a hell of a time for you to come up with a knee pain. <laughs> <laughs> right before the game. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, Larry, he I ain't going tonight. You got yeah, to you you see that. Yeah, then I, I, I look at the boy, I was trying to kept Larry Bird. And I'm like, so, you know, I look in the mirror, I'm like, well, shit, man, I'm about to get this motherfucker fits out here tonight. So I was, before the game, I was over there rubbing my hands, looking at him like, I'm about to get your ass, man. And um, that morning, they came out with a USA, USA Today article, and they said that Larry didn't have it no more. Ooh. But unfortunately, my rookie season, it was an article, it was an article that came out in the paper in USA Today, and it said that Larry didn't have it anymore. We were the <laughs> next game that the Celtics played in the Boston Garden, and of course, I took the challenge on. Huh? It's only Larry Bird; he, he puts his shorts on the same way I do, right? I'm from Indiana. Larry's from Indiana. I broke a lot of his records in uh, in high school. Did you really? And uh, he, he he let me know about it the whole entire game. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, first of all, he asked me to jump ball. He said, you the cat that broke all my records in high school, right? And I was like, yeah, that's me. He goes, yeah, you the one that used to jump with my brother too, right? Now, Eddie. And I was like, yeah, that's me. He said, I got you for you tonight. <laughs> he let me know from the start of the game what he was going to do. He really did. He uh, he let me know. He, he, he told me, he was like, you're the one that broke all my records. I said, yes. He said, so he basically said, I have something to show you tonight. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he, was, he was hitting everything, went, man, and he talked to me the whole entire game. Bird will take the first shot. He, he just shook his head at me. He said, "Man, this is gonna be a fucked up night for you." <laughs> <laughs> so when so he, he came out that night to make a statement, and I was just the prime candidate for Boston's offense if they play half court. Bird again. He's two for two. Well, all right. Good sign. Bird really pushed McKee out of the spot. No call. Larry on a wing. Got Kevin, a quick double. Finds Dennis Johnson in and out. Bird is there. During the game, Sean Kemp was guarding Larry. Bird on the 20-year-old Kemp. 
telling me Larry's just like talking shit. Bernie calls a timeout. Seattle will take a 20 second timeout. Bernie calls a timeout. I'm like, hey, what the fuck that motherfucker says, man? Sean Kemp was guarding Larry. He was like, oh, he said, I'm the best motherfucker from Indiana and yeah, shot a three in the my ball. Takes a fall away. Oh, he's got 40. That's true. It is very true. But... <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit. Bird, open. Hit on the baseline. Larry got free. Knocked down, sneaking up the floor. Squares up. Well, he's got the stroke back today. Everybody like, Larry Bird lit you up, my mama. She's like, everybody say he came by the house and called and talking about Larry Bird lit your ass up for 42. I said, what? I said, that much. That was the year we got Derrick McKee and Derrick was on it. If you can play defense, you're going to be in the game at some point. Uh, back then, with the Sonics, I think we, I played on, I, I know I played on like one of the more versatile teams that I played on because we could switch everything. Yeah, when, when Cage was playing in center, we had Sean at the four. I think for me, playing defense is like somebody who's more offensive minded. They get a thrill out of scoring. Uh, so for me, I get a thrill out of stopping somebody. He was actually calling out bank shots. He would say, uh, next time, uh, bank shot left side. Larry, little runner. Goes off the glass. Oh, boy. So every shot he was calling, at the defensive end, he would tell me, he'd be like, when I get down to the other end, I'm going to pump face you. Your dumb ass going to go for it. Get a hand <laughs> one on you. Look at you. <laughs> pull off the glass. That's how cold Larry yeah. Bird was. He would tell you that, and it happened. Bird flashing through. Tough shot. Knocks it down. All 25. Right. Bird for three, and he got it outside. Tail there, long outlet to Bird. McMillan won't catch it. And runs, saying, uh, prove it to me, Dennis, you can hit the outside shot. The Celtics have forced more turnovers tonight than in any other game this year, and Bird is now at 34 in counting. I said, first of all, I'm gonna be so close to you if you if you shoot the ball next time. I'm gonna try to rip your fucking arm off your side. <laughs> hey, what you think he did, man? A quick pump fake dog, and he go for that shit here. Ah! Bird again for two. Well, it's just not really gonna be. One. But he really talked like that. Got you, man. Come on, man. Come on, Larry was. How cold was? I don't think. But I, I, I guarded his ass so tough. Forty-point I guarded his ass so tough. I'm gonna foul him so hard that he's gonna, he's basically gonna take his will. He started shooting the ball with his left hand, man. I, I was trying to foul, foul his right arm. He was shooting with his left hand, banking it off on me, looking at me, still slapping me on my butt and everything, man. Tell me everything. <laughs> <laughs> now, see, that's something that he didn't hit you. He like, he didn't hit you on the butt. Now, nah, now nah, I got to fight you. <laughs> I guarded his ass so tough. That after the game, he said, that's the best defense I've seen so far, the best effort. He actually invited me to his house that summer after the game, man. He gave me like 45 or 48 in those three quarters. After the game, he actually reached ret out to me and told me I could come down and work out with him in the summertime. Wow. He, he sent a little letter over there to me. He was, like, he was like, I've had nobody play defense that hard on me. Mm -hmm. I love it. He go, I appreciate you playing. Out here. He was like, I got a little all-star game. Why don't you come work out with me? Come to the All-Star game, man. Yeah. You yeah, still I compete. Gave you three still quarters, compete. But that was the best effort I've seen in a long time. Uh, you know, you come to the house yeah. and shoot around with me. There's some I show you how to shoot the ball, young fella. So after meeting Larry and then him saying, yo, I think you got some talent. I'd like to work with you a little bit. Of course, man, that, that meant everything to me. So absolutely, man. He's, uh, he was, uh, I learned a lot from Larry. Hey, shit, that meant everything to me. Yeah, that's so good. So you guys became a friends after absolutely, that, to this man, day? Went, absolutely. So it went from him whooping my ass right. to him teaching me a few things. I mean, you pick your battles, man. You know, I learned my, I, my, my you just said Larry Bird. It's like, I learned my very first lesson to Larry Bird. Bird had what a game like you, like you would have had two years ago. Played just a fantastic game shooting-wise, came out early, started hitting the shots, 
played a lot of minutes. Well, let's pay some tribute here to Larry Bird. He is our Anheuser-Busch player of the game. And uh, Larry with the triple-double tonight and was doing it from just about every angle. Well, in addition to that, he was playing some great defense, going out and challenging people and uh, making all the great plays. Uh, ends up on the front end of the break, ended up in the middle of the fast break as a middleman. Did an outstanding job, as always, on the defensive boards, uh, passed the ball. But his shooting was there tonight, and that's what this team really needs. And Larry Bird to hit those shots at key points in the ball game, which he did.